Yes, please, Queen. Queen Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have ideas? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I think I've had ideas for Star Wars movies since I was 13 years old. Maybe. What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today we have some very interesting details about Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant, Leslie Headland. Also, Lucasfilm's latest hire to run a female-centric Star Wars show on Disney+. Plus. Isn't that very interesting? So some of these articles are very eye-opening. Now, one of them is back from 2012, all the way back in 2012, that Entertainment Weekly still has posted, which I find to be surprising. I also want to give a shout-out to Geeky Candy, part of the Geeks and Gamers team. Candace has been gathering a lot of this information for me, and she brought it to me. She's very unhappy with the things she's reading, and she's even said point-blank, as a woman, she does not want this woman speaking for anyone, much less women in a Star Wars film or series. But Lucasfilm decided this was the person they wanted to hire. And there are some very, very interesting, interesting articles that we're going to talk about. First, we're going to go over to Entertainment Weekly. Look at that headline. Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant writes tell-all play. Sorta. Sorta. Uh, now, this was back in 2012 of February. And... Interesting stuff going on here. Now look at the opening here. Leslie Headland loves Harvey Weinstein. And he most likely loves her back. Huh. Let's read on. Leslie Headland loves Harvey Weinstein, despite having worked as his personal assistant. And he most likely loves her back. Even after she pinned the play assistance about an ill-treated young personal assistant at a fictional corporation called the Weisinger Company headed by a demanding and patient perfectionist named Daniel Weisinger. At the very least, the Oscar-courting head of the Weinstein Company isn't holding a grudge against Hedlund. Well, isn't that very nice of Harvey? Harvey, good job, buddy. I mean, we know Harvey Harvey Weinstein's a very, very, very nice guy. Great heart, great heart. So for him, for him to not hold a grudge against Leslie Headland, the latest Lucasfilm hire, might I add, um, that's very, very generous of Harvey. It's he may actually be the man that Meryl Streep says he is, the man that Jennifer Lawrence says he is. What a brave and stunning man to not hold a grudge against this woman. Very nice, Harvey. Very nice indeed. Um, let me see. At the very least, the Oscar courting head of the Weinstein Company isn't holding a grudge against Headland. The indie studio recently purchased her much loved comedy. Oh, wow. Wow. What a nice guy Harvey Weinstein is. I mean, this Leslie Headland wrote a play seemingly about him and his misconduct, but yet he didn't hold a grudge because. She did say it wasn't about him in this interview. She really diverted everything. It's very interesting how she shifted things right around the time that they purchased the Bachelorette. That's it's so. Uh, that's just a, he's a swell guy, just like all of Hollywood has told us. Harvey Weinstein's a swell, swell guy. Um, now, right here it says, uh, you must have known that because of your connection to Miramax and the Weinstein Company, people assume assistance is about Harvey Weinstein. Didn't that scare you? The thing is, the play is so much not about the boss. Not about the boss. And when I was an assistant, I worked for a lot of different people. I worked for the co-president of production at Miramax. I worked for Harvey for about a year, and then I worked for Ariana Huffington for about a month. It was a job I did for a while. So it wasn't like I came into contact with one person and I was like, oh gosh, he or she would make a good story. As much as it was like, wow, why uh, was I an assistant for six years? Well, thank you uh, for that great information. So it wasn't about the boss. I just say that, like, I, I think white women need to kind of step up their game, to be quite honest. Like, <laughs> sorry, but I'm calling, I'm calling you bitches out. Like, and this comes directly after Miramax, the indie studio, recently purchased her much-loved comedy. Wow. 
interesting indeed now here we are here we are in 2018 six years later and we hear a much different version of leslie headland again the reason these things are being brought up is because of comments like this to say that like i i think white women need to kind of step up their game to be quite honest like <laughs> sorry but i'm calling i'm calling you bitches out like so here in 2018 we have leslie headland Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant and the latest hire for Lucasfilm to run a female-centric Star Wars show on Disney+. Plus, Right here, assistance, again, assistance is the same assistance we were talking about here, okay? But assistance also shows the culture that enables Weinstein-like behavior. She says, 100%. 100%. At some point, I'll probably speak a little bit more when I have a little bit more clarity about what I can talk about. When you're in a traumatic situation like that, you reach out to the person next to you and they become your lifeline. And if that person starts behaving like the abuser, that's when you start to go crazy and you start to believe all the phony stuff that you believe. You're being asked to do things you don't know what they are. One moment you're sitting at your desk and the next moment you're on a plane and you're in LA and you realize you don't have a change of clothes. You haven't showered in three days. It's the relentless exhaustion of that kind of lifestyle. And you're being told that it's glamorous and it's awesome. Uh, it's this awesome thing that's happening. But the reality is this is bad. When someone is screaming at you and a whole bunch of grown men are in the same room and don't do anything, that tells you something right away about what kind of danger you may or may not be in. You're like, oh, no one's going to stop this person. The only person that is going to make sure I don't come to harm is me. Room of grown men. But what, Leslie? I would say that, like, I, I think white women need to kind of step up their game, to be quite honest. Like, <laughs> sorry, but I'm calling, I'm calling you bitches out. Like, yes, wonderful indeed. Now, the next thing we're going to move over to is a screenshot that Candace sent me from a New York Times article. I cannot access it because I don't have a subscription. But right here it says, Leslie Headland is a 34-year-old writer and director who was in the same 2012 Sundance class as Trevorrow. With the movie version of her scorching off-Broadway play, Bachelorette. Bachelorette? Why, where have I heard that name? Oh, that's right. That's right, Bachelorette, right here. Um... The indie studio recently purchased her much-beloved comedy Bachelorette at this year's Sundance Film Festival. Huh. Anyway, uh, she bristles with ambition to do everything he is doing. Sitting in a red leather banquet at the Monkey Bar in New York, Hedlund told me she wants to be Martin Scorsese. And not just the female Martin Scorsese. She wants to direct a James Bond movie. Quote, even if I have to marry someone to get British citizenship, she wants to make films in which women behave badly and are not being held to a higher moral standard or seen as less than. She wants to look cool in magazine pictures so that little girls will put female filmmakers on their Pinterest boards. Let me repeat a couple of lines from that one more time right here. She wants, again, she wants to make films in which women behave badly and are not held to a higher moral standard. One more time for the people in the back. She wants to make films in which women behave badly and are not held to a higher moral standard. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Also... Also, we have this from the rap. You know, not to steal the Olive Garden's thunder, but when you're there, you're family. I don't think I'm ever going to feel like I'm part of Harvey's world. Even though we didn't wind up doing this movie together, he'll always be my movie dad. Wow. Very, very, very sweet and sensitive words coming from Leslie Headland. Also, we have this beautiful soundbite that Midnight's Edge shared. Let's tune in. Why don't we? Tell me what kind of Star Wars fan are you? I am the type of Star Wars fan that doesn't even have a favorite movie. I just want to live in the universe of Star Wars continually in perpetuity forever. So when people are like, what's your, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? I'm like, there is no Star Wars movie. There is only Star Wars. So when are you writing a Star Wars movie? Oh, 
please, please, Queen. Queen Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> you have ideas? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I think I've had ideas for Star Wars movies since I was 13 years old, maybe eight years old. <laughs> that is a person that knows nothing, nothing about Star Wars. She can't even name her favorite Star Wars movie. All she cares about is getting involved with something that has identity politics and feminist narratives. That's it. She don't care. She knows nothing about it. But oh, Queen Kathleen Kennedy, can you please let me make a Star Wars show, a female-centric Star Wars show, even though I know nothing about it, and I literally can't even name a movie. Again, you couldn't even name a movie? Seriously? Again, this is what Lucasfilm is bringing into their company, but they want to talk about how they want to. They want to, you know, be there for young women and show young women all you got to do, all you have to do is be there to be part of representation. You just got to work hard. Actually, you don't have to work hard. You just have to, you just have to be a whammon. That's the message that Lucasfilm is sending right now. They are basically saying, hey, you can be a crappy person. You can be a horrible human being. You can witness horrible things happening to other people. But if you manipulate the system, you too, you too can make a Star Wars movie. That is essentially what Lucasfilm is saying by the hiring of Leslie Headland, Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant. Great job, Disney. You are really showing that family-friendly atmosphere that Walt created all of those years ago. We are all so inspired. We are all so inspired. This is brave. This is stunning. But again... In reality, dropping the sarcasm, this is disgusting. This is disgusting that Disney and Lucasfilm would bring a person like this onto the team, would actually give them any type of creative control whatsoever, and for this person to have the ability to create a Star Wars female-centric show after what is being shown by the pattern of behavior by this person, it is downright disgusting, but it is in line with Kathleen Kennedy's horrible job as Lucasfilm president. Disgusting. Shout out to Geeky Candy. Great job gathering this information for me. Shout out to Midnight's Edge. Shout out to so many other people out there in the community. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the new subscribers we have. I There's just so many things going on right now. There's a lot of stories, but we have a lot of moving parts of Geeks and Gamers. Geeksandgamers.com is being rebuilt. We have Geeks and Gamers uh, Live, our new live channel. We have Gaming with Geeks. We have Park Hopping. We have Sports Wars. We have our Twitch channel. We have so much going on, and we appreciate the support. Every single person that supports us, you are helping us build something for the future, and we do appreciate that. Have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo lost money. Regulos are weird. And we will talk to you later.